up youtube it's your girl tiffany and today i will be doing my everyday makeup tutorial so i'm going to use these two primers and then i'm going to go in with the crayon case chalk dust and the letter y and i'm going to set my eyebrows my t-zone and my smile lines because i have combination skin combination skin means that you are oily and you are dry but it really depends on where so for me, I am oily in my T-zone and I am dry everywhere else. So now I am using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation in the shade Mocha. So now I am using my favorite concealer. It is the Makeup Revolution in C12 and C13. And I like to do C13 first and then go in it with C12. So C12 can like give me more like a brightening because C12 is lighter than C13. Then I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Cream Contour. Sorry it's blurry y'all. But I am going to go in and I'm going to apply the cream contour on the places that I want to contour. Why I wait for my concealer to get tacky. Because the more tacky it gets, the more like full coverage you have. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this Real Technique Beauty Blender and I'm going to blend everywhere that I apply the concealer and I'm going to blend the contour. <music> So now I am setting the concealer with the crayon case chalk dust again. That's good. So now I'm using the Black Radiance contour palette to set my contour that I put down that cream contour. So now I have to set that with a contour powder. And I'm just really just making sure I get under my neck so I won't have that double chin situation, which is not cute. And I'm doing my jawline, my cheeks, my forehead. So I like to use a smaller brush for my nose contour to really like get in there and to make it more snatch. I am not a pro on nose contour, but I am trying. <laughs> I am trying and I am learning. So bear with me, please. So now I'm going to use my all-time favorite highlighter from Shop Miss A. 
Then I'm going to go in with my go-to everyday nude brown perfect lip combo that I do all the time. And that is the Juvia's Place Matte Lipstick in Yoku. NYX Matte Lipstick in Free Spirit. Then I top it off with NYX again, Intensive Butter Gloss in Peanut Brittle. And then on top of it, I just apply LA Girl Pro Clear Lip Gloss. Y'all, do not be like me. If you ran out of lip gloss, go buy some more. Like, I literally been squeezing the tube out for a long time. And I just need to stop being lazy and just go buy another one. Like, it's not that deep. I spray this first. And then I use the brush. And then I use my foundation brush and just, like, press it in. And then I spray with this and I just let it sit. I just spray this everywhere and I like to let it just sit liner and like fix any imperfections that happened so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that I got that last tool also from with so I am pretty much done. This is my everyday look if I'm like not really in a rush but in a rush and I don't want to do eyeshadow and all that extra stuff. I do this look but if I was in a rush and it was like business related like an interview or anything like that. Of course I wouldn't do the lipstick. I wouldn't do the big lashes or the wing liner or and I probably won't do my brows or it's like a lot of stuff I wouldn't do because it's a business attire, but I'm not really going nowhere that's an interview or business related. So this is basically my everyday throw some makeup on out the door. This is my finished look of my face. This is basically my everyday look, kinda, minus the brown eyeshadow that I put on there. I usually don't do that, but I want to try something different. And I also usually always use brushes but to blend out my concealer and my contour i use this real technique blending sponge if you've been rocking with me for like a long time you know that when i first started makeup i could not stand beauty blenders like i just couldn't i didn't know how to use it i didn't know what to do i didn't know nothing like my makeup always came out like blah like messed up the beauty blender used to always soak up all my products so i had to keep applying product and that, that makes it look cakey this look for me i think i like it i don't know if i would retire my brushes i probably won't but i don't know but it gives me that smooth finish look um i know i'm looking a really off what well, to me it looks like a little off but um that's because i think i need to go pick up my summer shade i'm still using my winter shade so that's why i look like kind of two-toned it but to me it looks different i don't know if it looks different to you all let me know in the comments down below if i look two colors or whatever i'm gonna go to ulta and pick up my summer shade because i need to anyway if you're new to makeup you know you have a summer shade and you have a winter shade so don't ask me like why i don't really know why i think like in the summer you either get darker or you get lighter and in the winter you either get darker or you get lighter and that's it but i'm confused like which one that you get darker in which one you get lighter in i've been doing makeup for a long time and i still have a lot that i need to learn and i still learn makeup every single day makeup is not something that you would do one time and you got it no practice makes perfect you have to keep doing it and keep doing it and still when you get your skills up you still have to perfect your skills and add new techniques add new skills into it so and makeup is always changing it's always something new it's always a new technique to fix this you have to just get in if this is what you want to do just get into it 
practice your skills, add more as you go, learn more as you go, and do it. I hope you all like this video. Let me know if you want me to just do a video on certain things of makeup and I will make sure I do that for you. And please like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in my next video. And remember, be you, be beautiful and be happy. Mwah. Peace.